Welcome. You're listening to The Aligned Self, conversations in creating a conscious and abundant life. This is Daniel DeNovi. I'll be your guide and host. Let's see just where we can take this. Hello, friend, and welcome back to The Conversation. You know, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to talk about today, but I just knew that I had to get behind the microphone. And I'm going to do a little bit of sharing. Just before Thanksgiving, I got an idea. And that was to create an online summit. The theme is going to be the spiritual adventure. And it's based on the quote from Teilhard de Chardin, who was a French Catholic mystic. He said the words, and you've heard it before, but you may not know it was Teilhard that said it. And that is, we are a spiritual being immersed in the human experience. And so to me, the spiritual adventure is coming from the spiritual aspect and being immersed in the human physical existence. When you're first born in those first few years, many children still have a recollection, an intuition, a connection to the divine. And then we forget about it. We actually lose consciousness of our connection to divinity. And so this spiritual adventure is having a series of human experiences, human experiencing the human condition, and coming back full circle to where you become reconnected with the divine. And I believe this urging to reemerge, to raise our consciousness as a species is in the ether. It's happening all over. More and more people are awaking all the time. More and more people are joining this podcast, seeking answers, seeking some clarity around what's going on in their life. Some of you have just woken up. Some of you maybe just six months or a year ago or three months ago. Maybe you've been waking up during this podcast. Maybe you've been on the spiritual path for a few years now, but wherever you have found yourself on the road, each person is on the cutting edge of their own discoveries. And even if you've been on the path for a while now, you still have discoveries. It's like peeling back the onion. There's layers and layers and layers. I have been on the path for, well, 50 years, and I still have new epiphanies, new awakenings, new interesting concepts downloaded to my being. I pursue new and new paths. The universe is expanding. The creative intelligence, God, goddess, all that is, is expanding in all directions. And so just before Thanksgiving, sometime during that week, I got this download. I got this idea that it was my turn to create an online summit. Now, I've never created an online summit, but I figured, how hard could it be? So I'm gathering some experts in spirituality, some teachers. Many of them are my friends. Some I've known for years and some I've just met recently. But I'm going to interview them. I want them to speak about their journey. Where did they have their spiritual awakening? How did they begin? What have they encountered along their path? And I have them speak about their particular niche or area of focus. Now, what's going to be different is there's a little twist here that I'm going to be interviewing them, but it's going to be on video. So if you've never seen a picture of me, you're going to discover that I definitely have a face made for podcasting. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe maybe I'm a little bit better looking than that. I did have a woman tell me one time that I had a particular unique handsomeness. I don't know quite what that means, but I'll take it. But enough of that. Let's get back to the lineup. I'm going to have teachers talking about near-death experiences. What is it like after you die? What is the message that comes from beyond? We'll explore raising our conscious awareness. We'll talk about uh, past lives, past life regression, and life between lives. And we'll be talking to an Akashic Records reader as well. I'll interview Majana Mason. We'll talk about mediumship and intuition and her spiritual path. How has it unfolded for her? What is her advice to you on how to begin tapping into your intuition on a deeper level? I think we both have something to say around that. I'll have uh, my friend Della Rose Ruby Meyer from Down Under in Australia. She has been an astrologer for over 30 years, a healer. She channels. She's just phenomenal. And I have no idea where our conversation is going to go. I know she's going to talk about what lies ahead in 2023. She has her finger right on the pulse 
of the energy, not only the United States, but of, of Australia and the planet. And in some ways, you can think of this, this summit as being spiritual equipping for what lies ahead. And then on a more practical level, practical in one sense, but still very beneficial to the spiritual journey is my friend and coach Meg Lamb, where she concentrates on codependence and boundaries. Now, you can only manifest to the limit by which you allow other people to influence your behavior and, should I say, your vibration. You see, when we don't have firm boundaries, when we don't know where we end and the other person begins, then our life, our experience is somewhat muddled. We lack a certain clarity. And once, you see, my life, I feel, really took off. I began really being happy and having a profound sense of freedom once I liberated myself through setting firm boundaries. What else are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about conscious relationships, conscious communication. I'm going to present on the grand illusion, how we create reality. And did I mention that I want all this to take place between Christmas and New Year's? Maybe I didn't say that yet. So I have a lot of work to do. I think I'm up to the task. I am up to the task. I have spiritual assistance. I've called in my guides. And already things are coming together in an interesting way. On New Year's Day, I'm going to have a goal-setting workshop, an intention-setting workshop for 2023. So you can really rock the new year. We'll talk about how to create a well-formed outcome and then align your vibration and energy with that which you want to create. So it'll be somewhat of a manifesting workshop. And of course, how can you talk about the spiritual path and not talk about meditation and breath work, the power of moving the body? And we all know what lurks in the shadows. We'll have an in-depth conversation on shadow work. Now, my friend hasn't gotten back with me. I don't know if he's available, but I have two other people that can speak on this that I'll reach out and tag if he can't do it. And frankly, there's more, but I feel if I'm going to be talking any more about what's going to be in the summit, it'll just sound like me rambling on and on and on. So you might be asking, how much is this? Well, it'll be free. You can sign up and get access to all the different speakers, and it's just free. Your next question might be, where do I sign up? Well, I have to tell you, today is 12-1, December 1st, and I'm still getting ready for my workshop on the High Vibe Life on this Saturday, between 1 and 4. Now, originally, that was just supposed to be an online workshop, you know, a three-hour workshop. But I realized that it wasn't really going to cause the transformation that I really wanted to take place. So it's been converted into a full course. And so I'm doing the three-hour workshop, and then there'll be a bunch of support material to carry you on and actually integrate everything into your life. My friend, if you're listening to this in real time, I mean, on December 1st, you can register right up till the 3rd if you want to take part in the workshop. And this workshop is one of those that will absolutely transform your life. But you might be saying, Daniel, you didn't answer my question. Where do I sign up for the summit? Well, I guess what I was trying to say, I've been a little busy and I'm catching up with all the work involved and I will have a registration page the first of next week. I'm guessing by December 6th. Okay, that's it for today. This is Daniel Danovi urging you to follow your bliss. Live your life from inner signals. Be inner directed as you engage in the epic adventure.